Welcome back to part two of how I work a jigsaw puzzle. I have finished the border. Between separating out the pieces and working the border, it probably took me an hour or so, maybe 15 minutes to do the border by itself. I've never timed myself to see how long it takes. I particularly like to start with the sky and landscapes. These are the pieces where the earth meets the sky and then over here are the rest of the sky pieces. I find it's easiest to start with where the sky meets the earth because there's a nice contrast between the pinks, oranges, and blues of the sky and the darker blue of the mountains. As you can see, even a little bit of the castle comes up into the sky and that's probably the easiest pieces to find, which were the two I started with. Once I had the framework of where the sky meets the earth, the rest of the sky went together pretty easily with the gradient colors were easy to pick out. Next up, I'll work on the blues of the mountain. I had some of these blue pieces mixed in with the sky, so they're just easy to start with. And this is the area I'll start with. I've also separate out the red facade of the castle's front as there's so much white and blue in this puzzle, any pieces with red are really easy to find. As you can see, the mountains and most of the castle are now complete. The remainder of the puzzle is mostly the trees on each side of the castle. This will probably be the most challenging part because there's not a lot of specific detail to pick up. It just all kind of blends in together. One thing I love about puzzles is that I notice small details that I might not otherwise have seen when I was just looking at the photo, like this sign. That's in a place that, had I just been looking at the photo, I probably never would have seen it. It's small, it's a little indistinguishable when you're looking at the larger image. And with this one last piece, this puzzle is completed. This was an incredible puzzle. It has so much detail. I really enjoyed working on it. I'd estimate it took me maybe six to eight hours total to complete this. And I'd rank this as a medium challenge puzzle. Thanks for following my puzzle progress and follow me, Wandering Lynn, on Instagram for more puzzle fun. Thanks for watching.